Welcome, my friends, as we celebrate today's Mass, which is Monday of the third week of Easter. The Good Shepherd has risen and laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. We gather this today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My friends, God calls us to this table to ask for his mercy and forgiveness, and to be fed by the bread of life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, We may live as Christ did, for through the healing of the Paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people, Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Sicilia and Asia, and came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him, and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response today, blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had only been one boat there, and Jesus had not gone along with the disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Contiberius, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. 
When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found them across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, because you ate the blows and were filled. Do not work for the food that perishes, but work for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered them and said, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, my friends, I sort of hesitated to read today's gospel. Let me tell you why. Because it talks a lot about receiving the bread of life. And I was sort of afraid that it would make you feel sad or remind you of this absence of the Holy Spirit in the Eucharist. But what I want you to know, my friends, that every priest across the world is still receiving the Eucharist for the body of Christ. So through each of the prayers of every priest in the world, the whole body is receiving the Eucharist. We receive it together, and although you can't taste it or you can't touch it, but the body, the whole of us, the church, is receiving it together. So my friends, even though you're feeling a great absence, the power of the Eucharist over trumps this absence and makes a beautiful presence in each one of your homes and very different in each one of your lives. And hopefully, soon and very soon, we'll be back to normal. But for now, let us enjoy this time together listening to the Word and spiritually coming into communion with the whole church. And I know once we open those doors, this place will be full. And I will be so glad for that day. But until then, let us be glad together that we join in this prayer and receive the Eucharist in our hearts and our soul and change our lives for the word of God. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, let us offer our prayers and petitions to God, our Almighty Father. For Pope Francis, may God continue to give him the courage and the strength necessary for effectively leading our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the promptings of the Holy Spirit guide them in working to protect the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen away from the church, may they hear the Lord's call to return and partake once again in the bread of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who give their time and talent in this faith community as lectors, music ministers, catechists, and ministers of the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died. May they enjoy eternal bliss in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today we pray for Monica Mass Intention, for Jamie Keene and Marilyn's family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray, my friends, for all those prayers that we brought to Mass today. For all these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all goodness, we thank you for hearing our prayers and ask that you answer them according to your will. For we ask this always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today, my friends, let's pray pray, Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Monica and St. Thomas, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other, my friends, the sign of peace. Peace, brothers and sisters. God bless you. I love you very much, and may God protect each of you this day. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be saved for eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, my friends, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.